It's been a tough couple months. Gas prices and inflation have soared to record levels. Markets have gyrated. And we've seen all this reflected in portfolios. The media focus, as always, is virtually all negative, and we're hearing commentary from pundits where often the messages contradict one another. For example, there's been a lot of attention paid to comments by JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon that there'll be a hurricane hitting the U.S. economy. Yet a few days later, J.P. Morgan chief economist Bruce Kasman commented, there's no real reason to be worried about a recession. We don't see a near-term recession. We see a global economy that actually does okay in the second half of the year. So we have two vastly different opinions from the top brass at the same company. To make good decisions, we need good information. We're here to help you sort through the noise and update your plan based on your needs. The economic facts today, not the media hype, suggest that the economy remains strong. That's not good politics or good TV, but it is an economic fact. The unemployment report for May confirmed that the U.S. economy continues to grow. Both major measures of jobs went up significantly. In the CBO's projections, the price index for personal consumption expenditures increases by about 4% in 2022. While the rate of growth has slowed, we are still growing. And even with increased interest rates, Americans have more savings and are spending less on debt than they have in the last 40 years. The financial obligations ratio finished 2021 at 14%. That's the share of consumers after tax income they need to use on debt obligations like mortgage payments and car loans. It's the lowest amount since 1980 when the Fed began tracking data. Meanwhile, by the end of 2021, household net worth had increased. Americans had 1.2 trillion in the bank deposits before COVID. At the end of 2021, they had over 4 trillion. Looking beyond all the technical data, I believe one of the easiest ways to judge how the economy is doing is simply go to your favorite restaurant on a Friday or Saturday and see how busy it is. For investors, the bigger question is not what the economy or markets are going to do, but how would impact your ability to maintain and enhance your lifestyle. It's important to balance your needs today with those in the future. And with a higher inflation environment, owning equities is crucial. We see continued volatility, and this will be reflected in your portfolio. We know this can be difficult, especially if you're retired. We're here for you and happy to discuss your needs, goals, and any concerns. As we head into the midterm elections, news will likely be dire and highly polarized. This will be a volatile and uncertain time, and that's generally a great opportunity to build long-term wealth. Our recommended strategy has not changed. Keep cash on hand for near-term needs and utilize equities to keep up with inflation. Proactive management is key to success. This is not market timing, getting in and out or trying to find the bottom. We believe you must stay invested. At the same time, we don't believe that buy and hold is efficient. With rapidly evolving markets, interest rates, and tax law changes, we feel it's crucial to actively monitor and update your portfolio based on changing conditions. At some point, we will see Jamie Dimon's hurricane, but right now, it seems like a tropical storm at best. We're here for you. Please reach out to us with any questions or if we can otherwise be of service. Your vision is our priority and your success is our passion.